Welcome to this yoga routine for shoulder and upper back flexibility. This is a short sequence you can do to help release any built up tension in these areas. For this class, you will need a strap or a belt, anything like that. I'm just using my dressing gown belt. It works great if you have one of those. When you're ready, we'll begin kneeling. When you find your kneeling position, take a hold of your strap with both hands and you want quite a good distance between the hands like so. With your next breath in, lift the arms up and try to isolate the movement to the shoulders so you're not arching the back as you lift. Keep the lower ribs tucked in. As you exhale, draw the arms back as far as is accessible. It is easier the further apart the hands are to draw the hands down. With your inhale, lift the arms back up and exhale, bring the arms forward a few more times. Inhale, lifting the arms, keep the lower ribs drawing in. Exhale, draw the arms back. Inhale to lift. Exhale to bring the arms forward. Keep this going in time with your breath, isolating the movement to the shoulders. Final time, lifting the arms up. Exhale to draw the arms back. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to draw the arms forward. Good. Lift your arms again. Take a deep breath in. Then as you exhale, bend to the right. Keep your arms straight as you do this. You could always sway the hips slightly to help counterbalance you. Hold for a breath in, exhale and come back through center, keeping the arms reaching tall, ribs are nipped in, hold for a breath in, exhale, bend to the left. Again, you can sway your hips to help counterbalance, keep the arms fully extended, pause for a breath in and exhale out come back through center lower your arms down and you can take your strap out to the side then come into tabletop just setting the shoulders over the wrists the hips over the knees we'll start by moving in a circular motion to warm up the wrists so you can start with small circles And then you can make your circles a bit bigger. And if you've been moving in the same direction, switch directions. Come back through center. Then bring the right fingertips to your temple. With an inhale, lift the elbow up, turn the chest open. And exhale, come back down again, bringing the right elbow to tap the inside of the left. Inhale to lift, turn the chest open. Exhale to tap elbow to inside of elbow. Three more times, moving at the pace of your breath. Try to move through a full range of motion. Final inhale. This time extend the arm up, reaching to the sky. As you exhale, thread the right arm under the left to lower down into thread the needle, resting the shoulder and the head on the mat. Left hand could stay by your side or you could reach the arm forward. Then pause for the next three breaths here. back into tabletop 
Bring the left fingertips to your temple. With an inhale, lift the elbow up, turn the chest open. As you exhale, tap the left elbow to the inside of the right. Inhale to lift the elbow, turn the chest open. Exhale to tap elbow to inside of elbow. Three more times at your pace. On the final time, reach your arm up to the sky, inhale. As you exhale, left arm will thread under, right? Lower the shoulder, lower the head down to the mat. Right hand can stay by your side or you could reach the arm forward as we pause for the next three breaths here and thread the needle. Come back to tabletop. Then round your back and roll the back to the right. Then dip your belly and roll to the left. Round and roll to the right. Dip and go to the left. And keep moving through these barrel rolls. You can start to bend the arms to make the movement a little bit more expressive. Go a few times, rolling right to left. And then switch, rolling left to right. One more time, rolling from the left to the right. Come back through center, find a neutral spine on your inhale. Dip the belly, arch the spine, gaze forward, cow pose. With your exhale, round the back, push the floor away for a cat. Inhale as you open, cow pose. Exhale as you round for a cat. Keep this flowing in time with your breath. If you'd like to make it a little more dynamic as you arch your back and open the chest, send the hips to the heels. As you round your spine, ripple forwards, bring shoulders over wrists. Inhale, arch, move back. Exhale, round, ripple forward. Take this for one more breath in and out. Then find your neutral spine. Extend the right leg and stack the right hip over the left to come into a modified side plank, reaching the right arm up here. Pause for a breath in, lift the right fingertips towards the sky. As you exhale, cactus the right arm and turn the chest open, squeeze the shoulder blades together. This time with your inhale, right arm reaches overhead, bring your upper arm towards your ear. Exhale, cactus the arm, turn the chest open. Two more times, inhale to reach overhead. Exhale, cactus the arm, turn the chest open. Final time, inhale to reach. Exhale, cactus the arm, pause here. Turn your chest open to the sky. Inhale. Exhale and come back to tabletop. Extend the left leg and stack left hip over right to come into your modified side plank, reaching the left arm up to the sky when you feel balanced. Pause for a breath in. Exhale, cactus the left arm, squeeze the shoulder blades together, open the chest. Inhale, this time left arm reaches overhead, bring the upper arm toward the ear. Exhale, cactus the arm, turn the chest open. Two more times, moving at the pace of your breath. Final time. At the end of your exhale, pause. 
practicing the arm turning the chest open, hold for breath in. Exhale out and come back to tabletop. Then lower yourself down to your belly. Come over to the left side of your mat. Reach the right arm out to the right side and roll onto the right side of your body. So the legs will stack, the head can rest on the mat here. If you'd like to take this a bit further, bend the left leg and place the foot behind you so that you can roll more weight onto the right shoulder. Then we'll pause for the next three deep breaths here. Roll back onto your belly and come over to the right side of your mat. Reach the left arm out to the left side and roll onto the left side of the body. Stacking the legs, resting the head on the mat here. If you'd like to take this a bit further, bend the right leg and place the foot behind you so that you can roll more weight onto the left shoulder. And pause and deepen your breath. Roll back onto your belly. Come into the middle of the mat. Push back up to tabletop. Keep the hips stacked over the knees. Walk the hands forward and sink the chest down for a puppy pose. If this is quite extreme, you could bend the forearms so that they support you and then tuck your chin to your chest to relax the neck. Or if you'd like to take this a little bit further, you could tent the fingers to create more space to sink the chest into. Slow down your breath here. Hold for one more breath in. Exhale out. And lift up into tabletop. Bring the big toes to touch, open the knees wide and sit your hips back on your heels. Then walk the hands forward to lower yourself down into child's pose. Just resting the forehead on the mat here. You can keep the arms extended as they are. If you'd like a different experience here, bring the hands together in prayer. Bend your arms to lift the hands up as if you're reaching up towards the sky. You may find as you do this, you can sink the chest down a little bit more. Deepening the breath as we hold here. If your arms are bent, extend them again. Then walk the hands into your knees to lift yourself into a kneeling position. Just bring the legs together for stability. Then interlace the fingers behind your back, clasp the hands together and point the index fingers. Start to roll the shoulders back, draw the shoulder blades together and puff out your chest. If you like, you could tilt the head to look up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. 
holding for one more inhale, expand the chest. Exhale and release. Bring your hands to rest on your thighs. Lift your shoulders up to your ears with your inhale. As you exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. A few more times like this. Inhale, lifting the shoulders. Exhale, rolling them away. Final time, inhale to lift. Exhale to release the shoulders back and down. If your eyes are closed, open them now. Thank you for your time and energy. I hope that you enjoyed this short practice and hopefully it helps you to maintain flexible and open shoulders and upper back. Take care and I'll see you next time.